Welcome to IIPA News This Week, powered by Indian Institute of Public Administration. In every video of IIPA News This Week, we further try to simplify and explain the recent policies and schemes introduced by the Government of India, along with the recent activities of IIPA, which trains the bureaucrats and the senior government officials and it's actively involved in carrying out research on public policy and schemes of the government. To begin with, let's have a look at governance at work. Recently, the Union Cabinet chaired by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has decided to set up a national recruitment agency, making a paradigm shift in government recruitment. The proposed agency will conduct a common preliminary examination for various recruitments in the central government. At present, candidates seeking government jobs have to appear for separate examinations conducted by multiple recruitment agencies for various posts. Candidates have to pay fee to various agencies and also have to travel long distances for appearing in exams. Approximately 1.25 lakh government jobs are advertised every year for which 2.5 crore aspirants appears in various examinations. In this, a common eligibility test, also known as CET, would enable these candidates to appear once and apply to all recruitment agencies for the higher level of examinations. The agency will conduct the common eligibility test for recruitment to non-gazetted posts in government and public sector banks. The test aims to replace multiple examinations conducted by different recruitment agencies for selection to government jobs advertised each year with single online test. Accordingly, the test will be held twice a year and there will be different tests for graduate level, 12th pass and 10th pass level. The test will be conducted in multiple languages. According to the Minister of DOPD, Dr. Jitendra Singh, the exam will be conducted in 12 languages that are in the 8th schedule of the Indian Constitution. This is a major change as examinations for recruitment to central government jobs earlier was held only in English and Hindi. To begin with, test will cover recruitments made by three agencies, that is, the Staff Selection Commission, Railway Recruitment Board and the Institute of Banking Personal Selection which will be eventually expanded in a phased manner. The common eligibility test will be held in 1000 centres across India in a bid to remove the currently prevalent urban bias. There will be an examination centre in every district of the country and a special thrust will be on creating examination infrastructure in the 117 aspirational districts. This test will be a first-level test to shortlist candidate and the score will be valid for a period of three years. The government has already sanctioned a sum of 1,518 crores for the National Recruitment Agency. With this, it is envisioned that the agency would be a specialist body bringing the state-of-the-art technology and best practices to the field of central government recruitment. The 66th Annual General Body Meeting of Indian Institute of Public Administration was recently held online. The event was graced with the presence of Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Venkaya Naidu, who is also the President of IIPA. He unveiled the statue of former Deputy Prime Minister of India, Sri Sardar Vallabhai Patel at IIPA Library. Presiding over the AGM through video conferencing, the Vice President of India called for a change in the delivery of services, delivery of justice and the way governance structure respond to the needs of common people. On the occasion, the Vice President called the new program Mission Karm Yogi as the largest civil service reform to improve delivery of services in India. He welcomed the DOPT Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh who took over as the new Chairman of the Executive Council of IIPA recently and hoped that his experience and capability will further enhance the stature of IIPA. Director of IIPA Sri Surendra Nath Tripathi presided over the meeting, Senior EC Member and Vice President of IIPA Sri Shekhar Dutt also spoke during the occasion. Sri Amitabh Ranjan, Registrar of IIP, proposed the vote of thanks. The Mizoram Regional Branch of IIPA, in collaboration with the UGC Women's Studies Centre, Mizoram University, 
organized a national webinar on women's rights in India, Dr. Ambedkar's perspective. During the session, various insights and thoughts of Dr. Ambedkar were discussed, adding value to his ideological basis of political, economic and social justice toward the empowerment of the women in Indian society. Professor Sheila Reddy, Chair Professor Dr. Ambedkar Chair in Social Justice in IIPA, was a key resource person, said that Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar had challenged the ideological foundation of graded system of caste hierarchy that denied equality, freedom and human dignity to women in Hindu society. His life stands out as an example and a testimony to the ideal of securing human dignity to all. He championed the cause of women not only for Dalit but also for upper class at a time when he himself was facing and experiencing discrimination and marginalization. Professor K. R. S. Sambasava Rao, Vice Chancellor of the Mizoram University, graced the occasion as the chief guest. That's it for this time. We'll be back next time with another scheme of government and some institutional news. Thank you for watching.